Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. And if you just happened to stumble upon this video, welcome to my channel. My name is Bali Keys. And on this channel, I make modest outfits. Hijabs, juba, babayas. And if that's the kind of content you're looking for, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to tap the notification bell to be notified for more video. So today's tutorial is on how to make an open abaya. So kind of like a kimono abaya. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a crepe fabric and I'm using about 3 yards to 3 meter fabric. So the measurement needed for this tutorial is a bust measurement, a waist, a hips and then the abaya length. So I'm going to be making use of my measurements. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my fabric into two, after which I'm going to fold it into four. So we are folding it in such a way that we are still going to have our abaya length intact. So after folding, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out 4.5 inches or 11 centimeter there. So I'm just going to chuck that all down. And this is going to be for the taping of our, the front part of our abaya. So I'm just going to cut it out. So after cutting it out, we're going to have this. So I'll just go, I'll just put that aside. Then we'll start working on our fabric. So the fabric is still folded into four. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start inserting my horizontal measurements. So I'll just go ahead and insert. 9 inches or 23 centimeters there. And I'm going to mark that to form an horizontal line. After which I'm going to insert my waistline, which is 15 inches or 38 centimeters. So I'll just go ahead and form an horizontal line with that also. Then I'm going to insert my hip line, which is 24 inches or 60 centimeter. And I'll form an horizontal line with that also. No. So after marking all that points, I'm going to confirm if I have my abaya length plus 2 inches for hemming allowance. So my abaya length is 55 inches. Or 140 centimeter so i'm just going to add two inches to it so i have that so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start inserting my measurements so the first one i'm inserting is my bust divided by four which is 8.5 and then i'm going to add 3.5 inches allowance so you can make yours four inches you can make it five inches but i'm using 3.5 inches in this tutorial then i'll go ahead and divide my waist by four which is 6.5 inches then I'm going to add 3.5 inches allowance. Um, please, if you are working with centimeter, I wrote the measurements on the screen so you can make use of that. Then for my hip, my hip is 8.5 divided by 4. Then I'm going to add 3.5 inches allowance also. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the measurements I have at the hip part there. And then I'm going to insert the same measurement at the down parts. You can decide to increase yours if you want. But I'm going to be using that exact same measurement. So I will just use that as the measurement at the down part of my buyer piece. Then what I'm just going to do now is that I'm going to connect all the points. So I'll connect from the down part to my hip line. And then for my hip, I'm going to connect to my waist and then for my waist i'm just going to connect it to my bust line so after connecting we should have a shape like this So 
So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to take my neck measurement and then for my neck I'm using 3 by 1 inch or 8 by 2.5 centimeter. So the width of my neck will be 3 inches or 8 centimeter and the breadth will be 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter. So after marking that, the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to increase my sleeve measurement. This is optional, but I want a wider sleeve. So I'll just go ahead and insert 11 inches there or 28 centimeter. Then I'm just going to connect it to that point. So we'll have this pattern. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to cut it out. So after cutting out, we are going to have something like this. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to open up my fabric and then I'm going to fold it that way. So I'm going to join the two sleeves together and then the sides together. So I'm going to place it that way. So one part of it will be for the front part and the other part will be for the back part. So basically this is what I have now with my fabric. So I have that piece for the back piece and then I have this part for the front part. So we are just going to start working on the front part now. So for the front part I'm going to form a diagonal line of 20 inches or 50 centimeter. And I'm just going to mark that. so i'm connecting it so after connecting it i'm going to have something like that so i'll just go ahead and cut it out and then i'm going to slit open the front part and i'll just open up the front piece So after opening, we're going to have something like this. So I'm just going to place the fabric back. But before I place it back, I'm going to take the measurement at the sleeve part in order to know what I'm going to cut for my sleeve band. So I have about 22 inches or 56 centimeter there. So that's what I'm going to cut for the length of my sleeve band. So I'm just going to fold my fabric the normal way. No. up our fabric we are going to have something like this so that's the sleeve opening and that's the open part so the next thing just to call the sleeve band so for the sleeve band i'm cutting 22 inches by 6 inches and then i'm going to fold it into two and then stitch and i'll do the same to the second sleeve also then from the remaining fabric i'm going to cut out my pockets so for the pocket i'm going to cut out four piece 10 inch by four inches or 25 centimeter by 18 centimeter so I'm just going to cut four of that out for the two pockets. So I have my four piece already. And then I stitch this sleeve band. So I'll just go ahead and attach this to the abaya piece. So to attach the pockets to the abaya piece now, I'm going to take my waistline. So my waistline is 15 inches or 28 centimeters. So I'm just going to check that part. Then I'm going to attach my pockets at that part. So I'm going to attach, I'm going to take one piece now. And I'm going to attach it from that 15 inches point, right side facing each other. And then I'm going to stitch that way. Then I'll do the same to the other piece of the abaya other part of the abaya and then the other side also so i'm attaching one piece there then the other side also i'll attach one piece then the remaining two pieces will be for the other side of the abaya so i'm just going to stitch it that way right side facing each other yeah, yeah. No. 
I'm just going to attach the sleeve band to the sleeve right side facing each other or better still i'll just open up the sleeve and i'm going to attach the band that way so i'll just go ahead and fix this band and the pocket so i'm done fixing that and i'm done fixing the sleeve also so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to start stitching from that sleeve part, then I'm going to join the sides. So when I get to the waist parts, I'm going to join the pockets and then to the other side also. So I'll just join the side and the pockets and then the sleeve. And I'll do the same to the second side. I just decided to pull the pockets out, so I'm going to fix it back here now. So after joining the side, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the measurements of the front opening of the abaya piece. So I will just take my tape all over the opening there. So I did that already and I have about 124 inches or 315 centimeter. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to cut out a fabric of that length. But make sure your fabric is longer than that a little. So I have a fabric of 130 inches by 5, by 5 inches or 330 centimeter by 13 centimeter. So what I'm going to do to the fabric now is that I'm going to fold it into two and then I'm going to stitch it. So I'll fold it that way and then I'm going to stitch. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So after stitching, I'm going to have this. I'll just start attaching it to my jab opening. So I'm going to place it right side facing each other and then I'm going to stitch that way to the other edge of the abaya piece so i'll just go ahead and do that then for the waist belt i'm using 70 inches by 3 inches or 178 centimeter by 8 centimeter and you can always make your waist belt wider than this if you want but i think i want a tiny waist belt so what I'm just going to do to this is that I'm going to fold it into two, then I'm going to stitch on it. So after stitching on it, I'm just going to turn it out. After turning, I'm going to have this for my waist belt, and I'm going to stitch that part. Then for larger waist belts, this is a larger one. You're going to be using 70 inches by 5 inches or 178 centimeter by 13 centimeter for that. So you can go for any one you want. So what I'm just going to do now is that. So this is after fixing the taping, then I'm just going to M the lower part of the abaya and then I'm going to overlock the inside with an overlocker. And this is the waist belt. So this is the finished look of the abaya piece. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share, comment and subscribe. 
Jazak malaika and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial inshallah. Aslam alaikum salabakatu. So basically this is just me showing the fine styles of working it. And if you have any question, don't forget to drop it in the comment section also.